Good evening, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Fred and Friends. I'm your host, Fred Schultz. Um, obviously, I, I don't have my little buddy, Freddie Valente, here with me, uh, a.k.a. Freddie the Ref, a.k.a. Florida Freddy. Um, so <laughs> I was supposed to have a few people on here tonight, and I think I'm clicking them all off. I don't know what I am doing wrong, but uh, we're just going to roll with the show. I know for sure I've got Mr. William Bailey on tonight, and I've got Mr. Mark Gong along with his superstar, Mark Gong Jr. Um, we're going to be talking to Jr. in a little while here. I got to tell you, this guy, this kid is seven years old. He practices with the Ironman all the time, and he is just one heck of a player. He is the, the next generation of, of people that we want in the sport to promote the sport, because I think as he's getting older, his dad is bringing him up just terrific. Uh, Mark uh, played on Constant Pursuit before, and now Mark plays on uh, the OG Ironman. Mark is, uh, he's not only a heck of a player, he is just a, a first-class guy. And um, that's exactly what his son is turning into, too, is a, a first-class person. And I am so very glad that they're on tonight. Um, we were going to have Rick Sandias on, but Rick is going fishing first thing in the morning. So he just went to sleep. And Michael Beard goes to work at 12.30. So uh, Machine Gun Mike, uh, we're going to set up a different time where maybe we can go ahead and record all of these guys together and then play it later on. So um, we're just kind of still kind of working on that. Obviously, I am not a, a whiz with this computer. Um, I'm actually damn lucky I just got on. So, <laughs> so I'm still working on it right now. But uh, I want to I want to give us a couple shout outs real quick. Uh, Bambi Bullard, she takes care of the Paintball Hall of Fame. Uh, she just got out of the hospital a little while ago and she had a birthday. So uh, everybody out there, Bambi Bullard, uh, a heck of a lady. Uh, she's from back east. Uh, we wish her nothing but the best. And we also wish her a very, very happy birthday. And um, we just had uh, Kenny Stewart uh, jumped in, says hello to the gang. Kenny, we appreciate it, along with Stefan Santorsola. Ah, uh, Stefan, I hope I said that right, baby, because I'm terrific at butchering names. I mean, it took me years to like, pronounce my own correctly, believe me. Uh, and I want to give a shout out, obviously, to my daughter, Jessica Schultz. Her birthday is today, um, and I don't know if she's watching. She's probably out running around with her friends. But uh, I just want to wish her a very, very happy birthday. Um, she's a doll. The kid got to travel with me ever since she was seven years old, just like Mark Jr. She got to travel all over the United States and abroad with me um, to different paintball games and stuff. So she's, she's just very, very cool. And uh, I just love her an awful lot. So I want to wish her a very, very happy birthday. And then I also want to get to uh, my shout outs like I do every week. Um, these are are people back in the day that really, really worked hard to, uh, oh, right on, Kenny. Kenny Stewart just wished her a happy birthday. Right on, buddy. Uh, these are people who worked really, really hard to make paintball what it is today. And I, one thing I want to do on my show is never forget these people. Um, these people worked very, very hard for the sport. Everybody that's playing it now today, uh, you had to see what these people went through back in the day to make the sport what it is. So I'm going to start out with Mr. Tim Schloss. Um, Tim uh, was one of my sponsors. He had Tiger Stripe Camouflage. Uh, now he owns Gateway Paintball uh, in St. Louis. And if you get a chance, uh, go out there and play it and, and, and say hi to Tim. He's just a terrific person. And then next on my list, I got uh, Dan and John Colby. Dan was my sponsor way back in the day with Air America. And now him and his son are hooked up together and, and they're working together. And now his son is, uh, he's not taking over the business, but he's working really uh, like a right and a left hand with, with uh, Dan and um, with a mortal air. And they are just nothing but terrific. And as you can see, I love Immortal Air, period. If you're going to try some super air systems that, that just work terrific, hook up with Immortal Air. You're going to absolutely love it, no doubt about it. And then I also want to say hi uh, to some of my real good friends, Mr. Budor. I don't believe he needs any 
anything else to say about him. You know, war game products, uh, but or in the auto cocker, they're kind of synonymous. They, uh, they're just nothing short of terrific. And Tom K, Air Gun Designs. Uh, Tom was one of my sponsors for a lot of years. I uh, love the Automag, obviously, as you can see. Very, very cool. Uh, Rainy and Juby Boucher. Um, they own Paintball News back in the day. These two put out a newspaper twice a month, and it just told you everything uh, that was going on in the sport of paintball. And how much did they charge for this? Zero. They put it out two times a month. And, I mean, it, it had all the listing of all the fields, all the events that were coming up and things that were going on and events that just passed. It was absolutely terrific. It just uh, absolutely was. And uh, Jerry Braun from Paintball Sports Magazine. And Mr. Randy Camilla. Randy gave me my first cover shot in APG. Um, uh, some of these guys I, I absolutely will never, ever forget. And I want all you youngsters that are out there playing to remember these guys. This is uh, where the sport really started. These people work very, very hard to... Uh, grow it, and actually make it happen. And I'm going to give a shout out to all the members in the old school paintball guns. <laughs> These guys are just terrific. Um, I can't say enough about them. And I can't say enough about our guests who I'm having on tonight. Mr. William Bailey, obviously, um, from back in Missouri, terrific guy. Mr. Mark Gong and Mr. Mark Gong Jr. and Mr. Dirk Gadbury. These two guys, um, you know, like I say, I can't say enough about them. They're they're terrific guys. They play on the OG Ironman right now, and uh, they they've guested with me on Constant Pursuit back in the days. These guys back then were just one hell of a players, and they still are. I mean, I did a big game with uh, Dirk and Mark and them uh, a couple of months ago. And I got to tell you, Dirk is still as fast as he was back then, just uh, screaming. And I'm going to let him, when I bring him on here, I'm going to let him uh, tell you a little bit of his uh, paintball history. And uh, we don't want to forget Ross Alexander. Ross, uh, and this is from the Alley Remember Foundation. Ross was actually my first marker sponsor. He was uh, the Bushmaster. I got it laying around here someplace. It was the first uh, tournament marker I've ever got to use. And uh, it was terrific, believe me. And also, um, I talked to Gino earlier, Gino from Velkin. Anyhow, um, you're going to want to get on Velkin.com because they have uh, a giveaway going on right now, a $500 shopping spree. You got to get on, you have to sign up. And then uh, I don't know exactly how they're going to pick the person, but they're going to pick somebody and give him $500 free dollars worth of shopping at Belkin. And, you know, they have all the paintball stuff, air, air stuff, um, you know, the uh, airsoft. They just have everything. So if you get a chance you're going to want to jump on there and sign up. It's $500 and it's free. And Gino says, all you got to do is get on belkin.com and you're in, period. So go ahead and give that a shot. Okay, um, you know, I kind of went through everything that I got to go through. I'm going to, I'll mention the Belkin again at the end of the show. But without further ado, I, I want to bring on uh, a couple of the OG Ironmen, uh, not just good guys, not just good players, Good people off the field also. And uh, I want to start by bringing on Mr. Dirk Gadbury. Dirk, how are you doing hey, this evening, buddy? I'm doing great, Freddie. How are you doing? Oh, I'm doing great. You're looking good, man. So your son's out of town or running around? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We went back to uh, Chicago. Um, he he drove back. Oh. And his, uh, his mom lives back there in LaPorte, Indiana, where the first... Uh, um chicago tournament was actually held right so he's back there um visiting with his mom and, and that side of the family very cool boy he's a you you've raised him terrific um you know i got to meet him uh when you and i actually connected back together again yeah. and uh yeah he's uh he's a heck of a kid 
absolutely <laughs> is. Uh, no, he really is. You, you, Dirk, you're, you've done a great job. And and he's well, a hell of a good. player. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, he's, he's, he's a good player. I mean, unfortunately, he's got my last name, so. <laughs> ah! <laughs> well, that means he's got a lot to live up to, buddy. That's why well, we're as good. Yeah, it's it's we're competitors, you know. I mean, that's that's what it comes down to. He's got he's got a competitive side like his dad, and uh, but but overall, I mean, he's he's a pretty darn good kid. I'm proud of him, and uh, and uh, yeah, we're having a great time with all this. Yeah, well, you've done a good job with him, and like I say, he he couldn't ask for a better dad getting into paintball. Um, you know, I mean, you and I go back a long, long ways too. Yeah, you know, I, yeah, I won't absolutely won't I won't tell people how many years, but you know, ships were made of wood back then. <laughs> so you know, oh, it's been a God. quite a while. <laughs> so I have also yeah. got Mark Gong and Junior on. I'm going to pull him up. I hope his feed's a little better. Your feed is perfect tonight. And Perfect. real quick, yeah, have you ever met uh, William Bailey? You know, it, it sounds, the name sounds real familiar. Um, I'm sure I'll notice his face. I'm better with faces. <laughs> yeah. Better well, with I, name. So. Yeah, he, yeah he's, he lives in Missouri. I have him on it quite a bit. He's uh, okay. He's got the, um, uh, like a paintball museum. He's just got tons and tons oh, wow. of stuff. I, I'm going to introduce wow. you to him right now, and then I'll bring Mark up. Okay. Oh. William, this hey is guys. Dirk Cadbury right here. Hey, Dirk. How's it going? Good. Nice to meet you, buddy. Yeah, nice to meet you. Now I'm I'm going to bring the gongs on now. Oh boy, there goes the yeah, Here we go. <laughs> here we go. How you doing, buddies? Oh wow, your your feed's better. Uh, I'm working right straight off the cell phone now. It's a lot better. Oh, are you? Yeah. Oh, terrific. And Mark Jr., how are you doing? Good. Good. <laughs> You're looking good, man. <laughs> Say happy birthday, Justin. Yeah. yeah, he's terrific. Yeah, yeah. How do you like your shirt, huh? Some special, some special guy gave me this. I think his name was uh, Mark Gong. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know, I want, I want to start real quick. I want to start with Dirk because you know Dirk goes yeah. back a lot of years, and I think uh, huh? Dirk even came in before you, Mark, um, uh, in paintball. Um, and I'm sure everybody out there, you know, Dirk. Dirk's played with the Ironmen for a hundred years. He's uh, <laughs> guest played on Constant Pursuit with me, and I absolutely loved it. Um, matter of fact, I think you went to Malala with us, didn't you? Malala? No, I don't believe so. No, I don't. No, you didn't do the Oregon one. Anyhow, uh, t t tell everybody out there a little bit about how you got going and how you got started and how you ended up on the well, Ironman. Well, I started. I started approximately 84, 85. One of my, um, one of my cousins invited me out for a, uh, a paintball game out at Paintball Sam's back in the Nell Spot days, Paul Graham Nell Spot days. Yep. And I just, I just absolutely loved it. I loved it. You know, it was just, you know, I was into sports, football, soccer, all kinds of other sports. So I just, I really, I really took it. You know, it was, it was awesome. It was fun. Um, so I started doing, I started playing on a regular basis and we had a, had a, a team there, the Predators. Um, they were the, the Sacramento, uh, the, the Sam the home field team. Mm -hmm. And we were, we were in that era in the, uh, in the late eighties in Northern California, where there was a, uh, Ed was putting on a tournament circuit um, over at his field at Sam's. And there was all these teams and all this competition and all these players just a huge amount of growth in, uh, in, in playing and, and ability and teams and teamwork and, and, and the equipment, all this stuff. It was just, it was a golden era of paintball. It was just so exciting. But, uh, so I played with the amateur team and had that for a while and that, uh, that kind of fell apart and I got an invitation, me and Ken, I can't, I, I forget his last name. I, 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 I space it and I, I apologize, <laughs> but anyways, me and Ken were the only two predators that moved on and went and played with Ironman two, uh, end of 91, uh, <laughs> beginning of 92, I believe. And, uh, we played a few, uh, professional tournaments of the lively tournaments with the Ironman two team. And then that kind of, 
I don't know if it was falling apart. I can't remember all the details, but it just wasn't going as well as we anticipated. And uh, then I got an invitation at that point in time to uh, come over and practice with CP. And me and Ken jumped over. And, you know, that was that was my first chance at playing at the pro level. Freddie gave me a shot at it. And right uh, we had a great time. I played, some, I don't know, a couple tournaments with CP. And um, I actually did a tryout for the Ironman first team. And I was like the third player chosen. So there was two other guys ahead of me. And that's when they picked up Brian Benini. And the second guy, Chris, uh, he didn't work out. So they ended up calling me up and giving me a shot. And, and it's all history from there. But, you know, bottom line, uh, I probably wouldn't be, you know, have the career that I had and, or have um, if it wasn't for Fred and, and Contra Pursuit because – to give me opportunity wow. to get out there on the field and play at the pro level and, and showcase my skills. And that's, that's really what, you know, that's really what me, got me where I am today. Wow, Derek, that was, <laughs> that was very cool. I appreciate that very, very much. Um, you know, a lot of people, <laughs> yeah. It, if you lived out here, you know, the Ironman and constant pursuit, we used to, you know, we oh, yeah. bat heads together and we'd practice together all the time. But I got to tell you, um, you if you got to play with these guys, even practice with them, you would feel honored because you need to go back and look at the history of, of both the teams. Actually, you know, Constant Pursuit kind of died out after I died out, um, but I yeah. still love Constant Pursuit. And uh, uh, the Ironman, the OG Ironman right now, you guys have revamped it and got it up and running again. And matter of fact, you guys played in Chicago uh, lately, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we did. Yeah, we're playing the ICPL. This is our second season. Um, I think overall for the season, I think we're sixth overall. But very uh, good. Yeah, we we've, we've been in the top ten the first the first two years of uh, of the series, and and we're good with that. You know, I mean, we've got we've got basically you know some dads and 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 three or four of our kids, and you know all of our players are either Division four, Division five. So uh, you know we're not a we're not a stacked team with pro players and, 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 you know, division one players and semi-pro players We're I mean, we're, we're, we're literally taking, you know, fathers and dads from Northern California and, and, and putting them on the field and teaching our kids how to play paintball and compete with, uh, with some of the best in the world. Well, you're the guy that could show them, uh, you know, and same way with Mark Gong, you know, Mark goes back at quite a ways too. Uh, real quick, uh, uh, Chica Strada, yeah, Chica Strada, he, he chimes in all the time, um, every show with us. Uh, so, you know, I want everybody, I don't know if you guys know uh, Chica Strada, and I've never met him, but I got to tell you, he watches the show religiously, and I'm going to try to drag him on his show here sometime. And and I got Kevin Donaldson. He says his link isn't working. I was trying to bring Kevin on, and I don't know how to shut this down to get him back on here now. I think if I do it, I think I'll wipe all of us out. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> well, Kevin, Kevin's out. Bye, Kevin. <laughs> so, Kevin. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Oh, and I love having Kevin on too. He is—he's uh, just super great. That's all I can say. All right, Mark, I'm going to jump down to you real quick, buddy. I'm sure. going to let you. I'm going to let you give a little bit of history too. You know, Dirk's history. I, Dirk. Everybody that just listened to that, I'm sure they absolutely loved it. Because, you know, you're a guy that didn't start last year. You know, you're a guy that started back in the day. And uh, what you've done with yourself, and and more so, what you've done with your son is, is just just nothing short of terrific. It's just great, buddy. My, my hat's always been off to you. I know when you went to the Ironman from CP, I was just as happy for you when you did that because, uh, you know, you wanted to be on a, a different type of competitive team, and I, I was still happy as hell for you. So well, I appreciate not, that. Oh, it's all good, man. You, you know what? I would not have anybody on this show that I did not respect. Take my word for it. Nobody. That's just how I run it. Now, Mark, getting to you. Man, we got a good feed, so I'm going to jump on that right now, baby. Okay. <laughs> so before... before 
before we get into junior, I want you to, to tell everybody out there, give them a little bit of history about you also, because this is another guy that played on CP and the Iron Man. Okay. So, uh, Fred was the first person ever gave me a, a pro start also, just like Dirk. And I remember when Dirk actually came out to play with constant pursuit. Cause at the time I was playing with arts, uh, squads team called, Phantom Force at primetime paintball, and we would practice against Dirk and CP and, and you, Freddie. Uh, we were like the B squad for constant pursuits. So that's where Pat Rader, Rich Nago, and a few other uh, of us yep. have, have come through the, the ranks, and we all went through CP that route. So that was roughly about the early 90s or so. So, you know, I was very fortunate to be at the right place at the right time. So, you know, I want to say thank you to you, Fred, for that. And, you know, Appreciate that we had much. some great times. I was able to do some some fun things that I thought I would never be able to do. And, you know, here I am still standing playing paintball, showing my son how to play now. Yeah, yeah. Mark did the show with me, everybody out there. Uh, when I did the show at ESPN, uh, or actually MGM Disney for ESPN, Mark was in the show. And uh, Mark did a famous slide. Um, I guess, which is going to live on forever, Mark. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that. Mark, Mark calls it the slide. Everybody else I know calls it the trip. But, you know, I'm, I'm going to go with Mark tonight. I'm going to roll with the slides. So, so, so what, was more, what was more impressive, the slide or the 40-yard slide with the Titman gun that went sliding 40 yards? That was a good one. That was really, really a good one. And, you know, that is a very good commercial for Titman guns because that baby took a whooping that day. It, it sure did. <laughs> <laughs> and it just kept on going. So now you're playing with the OG Ironman. You're you're with Dirk and them guys, right? Yeah, we've been uh, with them for almost what, almost two years now, Dirk. We've been uh, yeah. with them playing. Yeah. You know, we're developing something real special here in Northern California. So, you know, it, it's 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 kind of fun. I mean, we don't only just have players from Northern California. We have our our kids playing with us. So it's it's kind of special to be able to have your kids play a sport that you love and share that with them at the same time. Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, Dirk's son, he's a heck of a player. He's a little bit, a little bit older than junior there, but uh, you know, all you guys, uh, and same way with Michael Beard and same way with oh, Dave. Brandon. Cook. You yeah. know, I'm, yeah. I mean, all of these guys, Brand, they, Brandon, you know, yep. Brandon Baird and uh, yeah. And uh, uh, Jared, uh, Jamie's son, Canavero. Yep. And uh, Dave's son, Dave, it's just, it's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing to see the growth and, and, uh, and, and Mark's little boy. I mean, it's, it's, it's crazy because the, the DNA, you can see it. It's just, it's just in them. The game Absolutely. is just in them. And then when, and then when they get to play with some of the old OG players, their game just elevates so incredibly fast. You know, I mean, my son's only been playing for three years, you know, oh, yeah, you're for still three years. Yeah, but he you know, rocks. and he, oh my God, you know, him and Brandon Garrett, those guys, I mean, they're incredible, you know, and they haven't been, they haven't been playing for, for that long of period you know, of time, you know? Yeah. So, but do you think they, do you think they'd be at the caliber that they are right now if it wasn't for you and, and Mike I, and, and absolutely I don't think so. Not. No, I know. No, no, so no, they're no. not. Hey, yeah. That's it's what it, I think. It, it it What's that? They put the DNA. It's natural, but but the thing is, is the environment that they're in. You know what I'm saying? Right. Well, you, you know, know, and and it's just like Junior over here. Look at seven years old, and, yeah. and Mark's teaching him. You know, what's this kid going to be like when he's 14? Who's I mean, <laughs> oh, he is going to just be absolutely awesome. I mean, he plays almost as good as Mark right now. <laughs> Probably better. Probably better. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, I love it. So, Junior, Junior, let me get to you because I'm not going to go into your history because it's too short. <laughs> but uh, first of all, how do you like being on the Ironman? Good. Good? Man, a few words. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be good in court. <laughs> yeah, he loves it. Yeah, he does. He does. So you get to go out with your dad all the time, huh? What, tell everybody what you think about paintball. You got you got something that you really think good about paintball? What's your favorite thing in paintball? It gives you exercise, and it's like you have free time playing. Very, very good. That's right. Yeah, it gives you a lot of exercise, huh? 
Yeah, you know, the older you get, the more you notice the exercise. <laughs> The, the Ironman, are, we're searching for an Advil sponsorship. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so, 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 Junior, what do you think your future is going to be in paintball? Are you going to keep on playing now? You are? You know, your grandparents are watching you right now. So you got to smile once in a while. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you could do it. <laughs> so, so you think you're going to be as good as your dad someday? Mm, I think so. You think so? I think you're going to be too. I, I, think I, I, th I think he's better, Fred. I mean, we have him running halfway up the field, and nobody sees him running up the field. I know. <laughs> you know it, it, it's incredible. Dirk, Dirk will give him a call, say, come up with me, and he'll just go running with Dirk. Yeah. Wait, hey, yeah. Junior, what, what's, what's your paintball marker? What do you shoot? A CVO. Whoa, I like that. <clears throat> Knows exactly what he's doing. Very good. Uh -huh. Hey, it's because all, all the Ironmen shoot that, don't they? Yes. <laughs> 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 Dirk, what do you think of that, that marker? I really like it. It's, yep. uh, yeah, yeah. We, we, when we, when we came back in the, the Bay city and, and did our first, our first tournament, um, you know, that one of the, one of the big problems was, was the young players and, and, you know, not having experience and, and knowing how to deal with the gun issues and stuff like that. So, you know, when Daryl came to us and you know, he had several of the demos, um, and he handed them out and let the guys use them. That was the first thing I wanted to do was get them to the young players and and see, you know, compare that to, you know, what it, what markers they were using at the time as far as, you know, gun issues and and, and performance and all those things. And that's just where it really it really performed, you know. I mean, incredibly well. Um, yeah, you, guys you know, myself. Right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we're sponsored by them, um, and we we love the guns. They 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 help us with parts, and uh, they're they're at every single tournament. Um, but I'll, I'll be honest with you, not a lot. There's not a lot of stuff you have to do to these guns other than just shoot them and clean them once in a while. They well, they work really well. I understand that someone on your team does a trigger job on them. Though. Is that correct? Yeah, Dylan Dylan work does the trigger jobs on them. Yeah, that's what I heard. Yeah, but yeah. Does it make a big difference from the stock gun? The trigger you know, job? With with a lot of the guys it does. Myself, I'm not I, I'm not one of those guys that just rails off a whole lot of paint. I use I use more most more accuracy. Um, mm -hmm. you know, I appreciate the size of the gun, the weight of the gun. Um, shooting left handed, it's it's incredible. I mean you can okay. just Oh yeah, if you've never even shot left handed, you could pick up one of those guns and shoot them left handed pretty effectively. So wow. Yeah, they're really easy to shoot with hand and so but yeah, you know, they're just he, he does some simple simple upgrade, you know, simple adjustments on the trigger. And for some of the guys that really shoot fast, it seems to make a, a big difference. But for myself, hey. I you know, you know I, 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 just, I don't I, I, yeah. Yeah, I just had Dan Colby jump in and said hello to all you guys. Dan's awesome. watching. How's right going, Dan? How's hey, doing, Dan? Everybody knows Dan Colby. Yeah. Immortal yeah. air. Another one of our sponsors. Yeah. Yeah, Dan. Hey, they just did a thing on me. I've been sponsored by them for 31 years. Long time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's when we used to fill the air with a straw. <laughs> a long time yeah. ago, man. And Stephen Blair. Uh, Stephen Blair jumped in and says hi to everybody, too. Said, hello, Dan. Hi, hello, Mark. Hello, guys. So... <laughs> Stephen Blair saying hi to everybody. So, awesome. Yep. So, Mark, real quick, back to you. Hey, I, I'm not forgetting you, William. Hold tight. Buddy. Oh, I'm, I'm just listening. <laughs> you know, you know, that's why I like having these guys on. You know, look, look at look at what Dirk and Mark were just telling us about their history. You know, yeah. That yeah, to me, incredible. that to me, it is. And to me, to sit and listen to stuff like that, and I actually lived it with these guys, and I enjoyed yeah. a hell out of listening to them say it. Yeah. You know. Yeah. When I, was, uh, when I was up there in September, uh, I noticed that uh, Satcong Village and uh, 
uh, what was the other one? Uh, Hollywood uh, sports. There was a lot of parents with younger kids there playing. It, it wasn't just the kids there playing. The parents were playing, and they were, you know, introducing them, you know, their their children to the game. Yeah. And uh, I noticed there was a lot of that there when we were there that day. Real quick, you guys, uh, William Bailey is one of Bud Orr's best friends. They travel together all the time and uh, and hang okay. out together. And uh, Dirk, you know, you know all about the auto cocker, right? <laughs> oh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I, I know a little bit about it. <laughs> hey, yeah. For everybody, that's, that's not an inside joke. Uh, the Ironman <laughs> used to shoot the auto cocker back in the day, and they were actually sponsored by uh, War Game Products, uh, Bud Orr and them. Yeah. Yep, and uh, they they were a force. I just, you guys are still a force to be reckoned with, but you know you were a force to be reckoned with back in the day. And uh, Bud, hell of a guy, watches our show all the time, and it's just terrific. Yeah, so, he's he's a good person. Yeah, he really Great is. Great guy. Yeah, he absolutely is. And and William and him, and those two get together. I got to tell you, look out. <laughs> there, there are a couple uh, to be reckoned. Believe me. Uh, where's, where's Bud at so, these days? Is it still in Southern California? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And Matt, okay. Matt William just uh, was down at his house. Uh, they went, they, actually, they went to Satcon Village and stuff together, what, just a few weeks ago, right? Yeah, it was back er, yeah. early, mid September. Yeah. Yeah, because, and, and yeah. then when, uh, about a couple of months ago, I think, uh, Bud went to your house in yeah. Missouri, right? Yeah, because yeah, they, they called me up. Uh, Bud had my jacket on that uh, um, got auctioned off that's in the museum, and they were barbecuing. Yeah. And... <laughs> yeah, Bud yeah. So how do you like, uh, like those paintball fields down there in L.A.? It's like an amusement park type. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. 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 We, we, we got to go to Hollywood first, and it was like, yeah. good God, you know. Yeah. Giovanni Giovanni was showing us everything and then uh, <clears throat> we got to actually walk through some of the fields at Satcong and uh, checked out Fallujah and stuff. It's just amazing, you know. It's just yeah, a lot of history really for Yeah, for me it was all yeah. history. I you know, I got to play there in the, the Great Western Series back in the 90s and uh, mm -hmm. so I lived I lived right outside of well, it was Lemoore Naval Air Base there, and um, uh -huh. I I got to play on you know tournaments up there, but it was uh, didn't look anything like that back then. <laughs> no, no. Hey, Rodney Aguilar uh, said hello to everybody. So uh, hi, hello, Rodney, hello. Mr. Hello. Out of control. <laughs> yeah, that's what it says right there. Out of control, baby. <laughs> Right on, yeah, Rodney. We, I hope you're having a good we, evening. We appreciate you watching too, buddy. Him and Larry we, Taylor also are watching. Go ahead. Yeah, we need to get we need to get that guy out. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. You know, back to you real quick, Mark, my man. Now, obviously, you got Junior into this. You're going to keep him into this. Where do you see him going? Well, first and foremost, I just want him to enjoy the game. Yep. So that's the first and foremost thing, and we'll see where it turns out. I mean, of course, he's playing various other sports at the same time, but. Uh, what else is he playing right now? He's playing basketball. He loves to play basketball. He, he wants to get, try a little baseball. But he's, he's got a love for paintball right now because he likes hanging out with the guys. He likes being one of the guys. And that's, uh, I think, the camaraderie that he has <laughs> with all the guys is great because uh, I'll be honest with you, uh, between Dylan, Brandon, and all the other kids that are with the Ironman, they make it a very easy transaction, a transition yeah. for junior to, to play because they, yeah. they know what it's like. So, you know, it's, it's been it's been a pleasure to, to watch this uh, growth of, of junior playing uh, the sport that I love. Oh, it has to be. I mean, you you can't be any prouder. And and that goes right back to dirt. You know how we raised his son and now he's watching his son. You know, it's it's unreal because, you know, a lot of these guys, when we first started, a lot of these guys weren't even thought of yet. <laughs> you know, I mean, uh, yeah, yeah. They, they, yeah, they were still on the wish list. <laughs> so that was so funny when I got back into paintball and I go out and Dirk's going, yeah, this is my son, Mike Beard. This is my son, Dave Cook. This is my son. It just, it, it was just amazing for me, you know, that, that that time had passed and all of that had gone down. Very, very cool. And Dan Colby says, all the good guys are watching tonight. 
Uh, Stephen Blair said, Sac Con is my home field. Started playing in 84. That's wow. Stephen Blair. Yep. Yeah. Wow. Stephen, yeah, we appreciate you watching, buddy, and maybe have you on some night. You know, I mean, the group I got on tonight, I am just, except I wish we could have got Kevin on. I love having Kevin Donaldson on, but that's my fault. Um, I just, I choked somehow <laughs> trying to put him on. Kevin, you're out there. I apologize so much. I love having you on, and this is probably the first time I haven't had you on, except for uh, when you were in Chicago. So, but it is what it is tonight. So, Dirk, where do you think the Ironmen are going from here now? Um, give us a little bit of rundown because you you got a lot of insight on this this team. Um, well, right now we're just waiting to wait to see the uh, the ICPL come out with a, a schedule for next year, uh, and we're also uh, excited about the uh, the the uh, the possibility of this other other league with uh, with Marcus Davis and Kevin Donaldson. Yeah, and. Uh, and the possibility of putting on a tournament here in Northern California. Yep. So, yeah, I know I'm uh, going to head that one. So I'm, yeah. I'm all into our, it. Our big thing is uh, our big thing is promoting, you know, the game that we want to play, and and, and that's the woods. Um, yep. Unfortunately, that's where we all we started. To, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, unfortunately, we got to play some 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 hyperball events and 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 you know around locally because that's all that's going on in this COVID thing that's going on you know so you know unfortunately we get we have to we get pushed into that direction at times but you know it's we got to stay active we got to keep playing and so you know it is what it is but you know ideally um our we want to we want to back the tournaments there in the woods and and right. promote that as much as possible you know Absolutely. Yeah. So, um, yeah. We're uh, the field you and I talked about, I guess they're changing, uh, fixing it up to maybe make it a little bit better. I haven't got up there and take a look at it yet, but maybe I'll go up there this weekend yeah. and take a look at it, but we'll definitely find the right field. And, what's that? Yeah. I, went, I went out last week and they had a, they had a, a little uh, get together, uh, air ball get together with the sharks and he's, he's done right. a lot of work. So it's yeah, that's moving what forward. I, yeah, that's what I heard. And uh, I was going to try to get up there this last weekend, but I had company because uh, Kathy yeah. Alvarez uh, said that she was going up there and I was going to go up there. So real, real quick, guys. Anybody remember Ron Kilborn? <laughs> yeah, oh, absolutely. <laughs> but anyhow, this guy, he's a former bushwhacker. And uh, the guy goes, learn from Ron Kilborn. Steven, you didn't learn nothing from Ron Kilborn. <laughs> Believe me. Ron goes way back in the day. Ron's one of the Southern California players for the Bushwhackers. Uh, I got along with Ron, but uh, I got to tell you, Ron's a piece of work, and I'll just let it go right there. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. And, and Thank Andrew God Sorrell. for all the personalities. <laughs> Thank God. And, and, we didn't have all these and he had them all. <laughs> <laughs> and Ron had them all, believe me. Oh. <laughs> I could tell you some stories about Ron, but they'd probably arrest oh. him. <laughs> but he, Andrew Sturette, you know Andy Sturette? He uh, has the uh, Ellie Remember Foundation. Oh, yes. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he just chimed in, too. And uh, he, he goes, isn't it past your bedtime, Dan Colby? <laughs> That's funny. I just see a fist from Dan Colby. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we had Andrew on a few weeks ago, and Andy's a pretty good guy. He gets into a a lot of things, uh, but the Ellie Remember <laughs> Foundation. Yeah, I know. But the Ellie Remember <laughs> Foundation is uh, his baby uh, because he yeah. lost his daughter in that. So, uh, yeah, I'm. I'm for it all the way down the line. And Dan is still up. Dan, Dan just Dan just chimed in and said laugh out loud. So Dan is still up. And Dan, Dan, you're a good man. And, and look at all the immortal guys that are on this screen right now. I mean, I mean, because Darren can shoot immortal air, am I correct? Yes, we do. Yeah. Yep. Oh, absolutely. And, what's that? Absolutely. Yeah, it's uh, and you know, I, I don't want to let the big secret out too much, but anyhow, he's got a, a new reg coming out, man. It is just killer, and oh, uh, wait. yeah, yeah, it's it's almost here actually. It's uh, God, I can't, 
Don't worry, Dan. I won't say. Uh, I, I, Dan, <laughs> and Dan, Dan said he's very proud of you guys too. Dan, so, Dan's just. Well, Dan's just. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, I was going to say Dan's just lucky they haven't turned the Wi-Fi off in the home yet. Yeah. No. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Man, I got to tell you, you know, no, you guys just joking. Up, there's a beating coming on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Absolutely. Well, yeah, I'm going to hide next time. There you go. Yeah, Dan said he's very proud of you guys. You know, and, uh, and Dan's right. You know, I'm not an Ironman, but I'm proud of the Ironman. You know, I, I, I'm proud of, of the history that we've all had together. You know, on yeah. the field, we didn't know each other. Off the field, Everybody was friends with each other, you know, and that's what actually helps paintball grow. And that's what Mark is, is instilling in junior. And that's what all you guys uh, that have your sons on the Ironman are instilling in them. And that's what's going to make our sport get bigger and bigger and bigger. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yep. And, and, the, and, the, and the family and the, and the friendship and the, uh, you know, all, all of these sponsors, like Dan, Dan Colby was a huge part of the Ironman in the early days. They, we, Absolutely. Yep. Their, their technology pushed our team forward. Uh, you know, Bud Orr, um, all of our sponsors, you know, Gino with yep. uh, with National Paintball, all of them were very, very instrumental in, uh, in how well the team did and the products. Kevin. Kevin Donaldson, stuff, you know. yeah, Kevin Donaldson just chimed in and said, Ironmen are a great bunch. And, you know, Kevin, I apologize for, man, I couldn't get you to feed. I'd try to do it right now, but I'd probably knock everybody off because I'm I'm not a whiz at this stuff. But, no, we uh, forgive you, Fred. Yeah. <laughs> hey, 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 well, hey, Fred, do you want yeah. me to try and send him the link? Could you do it? Yeah. If, if I get knocked off, it doesn't matter. So, yeah, let me try that. I'll, I'll yeah, go ahead and do it. it. I'd love to have Kevin on. I, right. I, 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 he's on all my shows. It's just I'm afraid to do it right now. Yep. You know, I am grateful I got these guys on, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I got to tell you. But, you know, you guys, uh, um, like I say, you guys are just a great bunch of guys, not just now, but even back in the day. You know, I mean, we all had our run-ins. Love to practice against you guys, CP and Ironman. Everybody out there, I got to tell you, we go back a long, long way. We used to butt heads on the field, and you get off the field, anybody needed a hand, the other team, they was always there to help, you know, and I, I just yeah, was, think that was all great. It, it was a Northern California thing, you know. It was, it yeah, was, it right. was, everybody in this area was, was, was competitor on the field, and but, but off the field, you know, it's, we were, which. We, We'd have beers and, and, and share stories and have a good time. You know what I'm saying? There was, all, there was mutual respect across the board. And just think about all the teams that came out of this area, oh, you know? Absolutely. I mean, it's incredible. A lot. And, yeah, and I go, you know, yeah, because we go way back to the beginning when that was happening, you know? Yeah. You know, yeah. you got to remember yeah. when I started started hanging out with the Ironman, Bob wasn't the, the captain. It was Mike Beard. I mean, uh, Rick Beard. He was the captain Beard, of the yeah. Ironman. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, a lot of people don't even know that. They just uh, yeah. kind of associate Bob with the Ironman because, you know, oh, here we go. The vice is not. We might have Kevin, guys. Uh oh. Here he is. Here he is. Uncle Kevin Donaldson. <laughs> hey, buddy. How you doing? Hey, what's happening, guys? Oh, ah, man. Sweet. Hey, I got <laughs> Yeah, bah. what's up, Mark? <laughs> what's up, How Kevin? are you? Good. good to see you, man. <laughs> Kevin, you know Dirk, right? Uh, uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and I don't have to introduce you to, to Bill. No. Because you, you no. know Thanks, Bill. Time. Yeah, no problem. I just got thinking about it. I'm like, hell, I can send him the link. Uh, well, you gotta try. You got to show me. Hey, Dan Colby just says, hi, Kevin. Hey, Danny. Hey, you're going to have to show me how you did that, you know? Yeah, hey, Kevin, you just says what a great bunch the Ironmen were. You know, these guys right now with their kids and everything, they have actually elevated in coolness from what they used to be. Oh, definitely. Great bunch of kids, too. I mean, all the kids are awesome. Yep, that's exactly good, what I'm talking time. about. And, and, you know, Dirk, Mike Beard, um, Dave Cook, Mark, you know, these guys, you know, they're just bringing their kids along so good. And it's so good for the sport. You know, they're not only going to have a hell of players and a hell of a team, but, you know, it's good 
for the sport itself to grow the sport. Because you know what it's like. You get a bunch of jerks in the sport, and nobody wants to come out and do nothing or even look nope. at it. Nope. You won't come back. Yeah, you got to give back. It's giving back, you know? Absolutely. Yep. Well, give it, it back. And, it's you know, see, it's and good doing... to see all the old guys and their kids, which is really great. It yeah. absolutely is. You know, I, I, these guys have kind of gave us a little history when they started in paintball and, and how they got rolling. So I think it's your turn now. Me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, come I on. You had, to, you had to start someplace. You weren't born a paintball player. No. Well, it seems that way because, you know, <laughs> when I started, it was uh, April of 1983. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's the first Back time I played. Yeah. What's that? Back yeah, to dinosaurs. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. No chronos. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. Mm. Oil based paint. Nelspot 007 and Uvex goggles. <laughs> yeah. That was yep. the game. Hell, we started, we weren't even wearing goggles when we started. It was amazing that nobody lost an eye. Yeah. I gotta tell you. So you started in 83. Okay, who got you started? How'd you get how'd you get into it, buddy? Howdy, Jimmy McGuffick and Howdy and I, you know, yeah, we were howdy. friends. Yeah, we were friends before paintball and we stumbled onto the an ad in the like New York Times about this new game, war game, survival game. And, you know, Howdy, Howdy actually is the guy that that got me into it. You know, we went out, played, you know, a couple at Jerry Braun's field. Yeah, really? You know, there was only when when I started, there was only three fields on Earth. You know, yeah. because, uh, yeah, we called Bob Guernsey. We called uh, NSG to find out where the fields were. And you know, the only we could go to Rochester, <clears throat> New York, Deborah Dion's field in Pittsburgh or Jerry's. Yeah. So obviously Jerry was the closest to us. That's where we went. Yeah. And Jerry so was real young. Man. Jerry, I've been dealing with Jerry Braun for a lifetime. I know. Well, you're the gatekeeper <laughs> of the field there. You know, yeah, I mean, pretty much. And Jerry owns it, but you know, you handle everything that goes through that field. I know that. Well, you know, I had not, nothing to do with any of the walk-ons, but the modified players building fields, taking care of, you know, the place. I, you know, that's I the gatekeeper. Jerry. That's the gatekeeper. Yeah, I right help there. Jerry. I don't, I have nothing to do with the operation. You know, Jerry, you know, we're fortunate because basically, you know, Jerry has 200 acres up there. Right. And he's only been, you know, he's only been using maybe half the property. So he actually, gave the other half of the property to us, <laughs> private facility. So, Oh, very cool. Yeah, because I, yeah. I remember you used to bust people in from New York all the time. We <laughs> had to, we had to, you remember we used to bust the people at the field? Yeah, that's what I mean. Bus, yeah, yeah you, needed a, you needed the bus to get from one field to the other at that point yep. at one time. Yeah, yeah Dan Colby just uh, said Kevin is the mayor of paintball. Yeah, <laughs> I'm the jackass of paintball. Uh, uh, and Jimmy, Jimmy James. Um, I don't know if any of you guys know Jimmy James. Uh, he just said, "Good evening, legends of the game." So, thank you. Yeah, thank and you. I appreciate that, Jimmy. I appreciate you watching us too. It's uh, very, very cool. So, so, you've been in it a long, long time, then. And for everybody out there that doesn't know Kevin, which you probably have to be born in a cave, but Kevin is uh, the Master Blasters, and they have been around for a hundred years. And I kind of, <laughs> I kind of got an idea how you guys got your name started. I, I understand it was some blowing crap up. Yeah, yeah, kind of, sorta. <laughs> That's what I kind of heard. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, we we had the name before we were blowing things up. Oh, I got it. Yeah, but there's there's some good old stories about C four with our team, but you know we're not going to get into that. So. <laughs> well, have you ever seen uh, Mark Junior? Yes, I have. Yeah, and I think I know his father since he looked like that. Yeah, <laughs> hey, you, should, you should see this kid play, Kevin. This kid is phenomenal for seven years old. It's unbelievable. I, I hope I get to see him play. But you oh, know, Mark, you know, I, I've been trying to get Mark to play for how many years now, Mark? It's probably you, five you, years to come out and play a tournament, right? Yeah. <laughs> but it's but you you don't you don't you know you don't play. <laughs> I, I've had a lot of practices with Dirk. Ask Dirk. 
<laughs> I know, no, that I oh, know, yeah. but you don't come out and play. There was a time when you know you we were traveling all over like the rest of us. You know, if 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 only my job let me do that sometimes. You know, well, I dragged you around. I dragged you around quite a bit with CP. Yeah. yeah, you traveled quite a bit back then. I did. Yeah, you did. We hit all uh, the NPPL and stuff. Stephen Blair just checked in and he says uh, he's been shot multiple times by all of us. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't seen Steve in a while. I hope he's doing all right. I hope you're doing well, Steve. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have to. Well, Mark have to... and I, Mark and I played together. You know, you know, we, Mark and I played together on the sheep with Jimmy Anderson and yep. Rainey and yep, that whole crew when he was playing with you, Fred. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you know, yeah, absolutely. You know, and Jimmy Anderson, uh, God rest his soul. Jimmy was a, a good friend of all of ours, actually. But uh, Jimmy and Rainey and Mark, they were all on my show together. All, every name yeah. that you just mentioned right there, they were all brought down there. Um, but, Jimmy know. was brought down because he was a good friend of mine. I, I picked the the nicest guys in CP. That I, They were all nice. Don't, don't get me wrong. I liked all of them. But I, I just picked the guys that I really felt comfortable taking down to do a show with. And, you know, it, I couldn't have picked a better group. You know, I couldn't have well, picked you didn't a better take group me. Them. Huh? You didn't, in, you didn't invite me. I should have, huh? <laughs> you know what? It may be next time here. Hey, how'd your show yeah. go uh, with Fox? Still, still in production. Um, the, the filming, the first, the first show was finished filming. Uh -huh. uh, now it's in post-production. So I'm, I'm looking forward to getting some clips and, seeing the final product i have to go i have to go do some narration they want yep. me to do the voiceover so i guess i gotta do that yeah yeah that's uh that's a big thing I, same way with everything i've ever done you always have to get in the studio to do a lot of the voiceovers on it yep, yep. so but they haven't sent you the trailer or anything huh i've seen bits and pieces of it but you know it, it really it's until they get done editing it and putting it together it's it's nothing nothing to talk about but they right. did a really good job. I mean, they did an amazing job. We have a tournament next weekend in Massachusetts. And they're probably going to come out and film some of that as well. But that will probably be the, sec the second show. You guys haven't got any snow there yet? No, not yet. Not yet? Talking about snow Friday, but it's not going to be anything that's going to stick around. Got it. Okay. Yeah. We got some in Kansas City. Oh, did you? Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't a lot, but it was It was there. I seen it. Yeah. It's like, ooh, well, Zach Arbuckle, uh, uh, I was talking to him last week, and I, they were already, or the other day, actually, and they were already <laughs> getting snow in northern Wisconsin. Yeah. So, yeah, you could keep yeah, that. They're a little ahead of us. <laughs> yeah, it's it's probably going that way towards you, though. So I hope it's not there <laughs> for the weekend when you guys go play the tournament. No, I looked at the weather, and it's going to be 58 degrees, so we'll be oh, okay. That's, yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah. Oh, my gosh, guys. I can't even tell you how cool it is to have all you guys on here. I mean, we got old school and we got young school on the same damn show here, man. How <laughs> how cool is that? And Dirk, I you know, I don't know if you were listening earlier when Dirk was giving us his rundown on when he got started and stuff. But very, very, very cool story. And uh, just done very, very good, too, Dirk. You're, you're a pleasure you. to have on the show. You really, really are. You know, I, I have Kevin on every week because, uh, and I try to put Kevin on towards the end because there's people that absolutely love to listen to Kevin. So what I do is I put him on towards the end. They watch the whole show waiting for Kevin. And then I, I throw him out there, man, you know, because Kevin's kind of like the teaser. <laughs> I, I thought I thought you just did that to keep him awake longer. <laughs> hey, I told you not to mention that. Uh, yeah, my bad. My bad. Hey, hey, before we go, I mean, I want to wish Jessica a happy birthday. Oh, right on, Kevin. Oh, yeah, cool. Jessica's my yeah. daughter, and I, I I wished her a happy birthday earlier. She's probably out running around with her boyfriend, so you know, and her friends. Um, because she she called me earlier. She goes, "Yeah, I'm going to watch you guys tonight." And I go, "Really?" She goes, "Oh, yeah." She goes. He goes, you're going to have the OG Ironman, and and you're going to have uh, Kevin on and Bill. I go, yeah. He said, they'll all be on. She goes, well, I'm going to watch it tonight. Well, I haven't seen her chime in once. So, you know. <laughs> Let her enjoy her birthday. Yeah, yeah. that's what she's going to do. I, I'm sure I'll hear about her tomorrow. She'll go, oh, Dad, I, I got to tell you. So, yeah, it is what it is, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but I love it. I, uh, yeah, you know, she got to travel ever since she was the same as Mark Gong Jr. 
uh, she traveled all over with us. And uh, as a matter of fact, she was seven years old and we did a tournament, um, Jim Lively tournament. And we had actually, it was a 15 man back then. And we had actually won the tournament, but uh, against Aftershock. And, but one of the girls from Aftershock, uh, her boyfriend played on Aftershock. And she was one of the refs. So we kind of didn't get that one. We, we ended up getting a second on that. But to make a long story short, my daughter that was the Lords of Discipline, Freddie. Was that who it was? That was no, that was Aftershock, yeah. wasn't it? No, it would have. It was the Lords of Donna and Freddie Ike. That's where I met Tim Schloss because Tim kept coming to me, going, "Oh man, you guys got ripped off. Oh, you guys got ripped off." I got yeah, swore that was Fred and, Fred and Donna. I believe her name was Donna Ike. Oh they were, yeah, they played. They played with the Lords of Discipline. And then I think they did play the first season when the Lords and what was it? Scream merged Scream? to become yeah. Aftershock. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, then they so, were still part of right. Aftershock. Depending you, right? upon the year. Yeah, but you, you you were there then, right? Oh yeah. Did, did you see? Did you see Jessica go up and just ripped into Jim Lively. And <laughs> she's seven years old. She goes, "You guys cheated my team. You cheated my dad. You cheated my dad." And, and he turns up to her and he goes. Easy, sweetheart, relax. And she goes, don't tell me to relax. And finally, my <laughs> wife had to drag her away. I'm going, oh, my God. This is just what I need, you know. <laughs> Out of the mouths of babes. <laughs> that's where I met Tim Schloss, you know. We kept playing, you know, at the beginning of the tournament. We were doing pretty damn good. And and this guy kept coming by going, oh, oh you you guys are really looking good. Oh, oh. And then he walk away, you know. And I go, who is that guy? And everybody go, shit, I don't know who he is, you know. And then at the very end, after the tournament was over, that's where we found out that was Tim Schloss. He comes up to me and he goes, oh, you guys are playing great. He goes, what are you wearing? I go, well, I guess whatever we can get our hands on, you know. And then that's Team Tiger we, Stripe. Yeah, that's where we started with Tiger Stripe. Yep. Tiger Stripe yeah. products. Yep, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, you couldn't beat it and you still can't. I, my wife, I, matter of fact, I just sent Bill a picture of a... Uh, the thing sewn inside, you know, the little tag inside that said Tiger Stripe. Because, <laughs> yeah. you know, yeah, because uh, Tim gave my wife all kinds of stuff uh, along with myself and the team. And it's it's still, her pants are like brand new. Yeah. Everything she's got is like brand new, man. It's yeah, I got a bunch of that, bunch of that down the basement. In fact, I just sent Howdy a pair of pants that I had laying around that he wanted because he finally it 30 years he finally wore his pants out so i had a brand new set that i never wore so i sent them to jimmy <laughs> <laughs> wow yeah i got a, i got a bunch of it out too in my storage uh, i got a whole box i think of tiger stripe i've never even worn yet you know and then obviously this is a muff one right here from when we played with the muffs and then i i just got it laying everywhere here man but yeah tiger stripe you know tim Tim treated people great back then. You know, Tim and Dan Colby and Ross Alexander and Bud Orr and Tom K. You know, that's why I mentioned these guys. You know, I mean, these guys went over and above what they really had to do because we would all bought their products anyhow because it was the best stuff out there. But, you know, they stepped up to help the teams. And, uh, you know, just like Darren. Who was, you know, uh, they, who was a unique? Rose with uniques. Rose, Rose, Rose yeah. 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 Matter of fact, yeah. my Rose, I got two Rose. unique bags. Yeah. I got two unique bags sitting Those right there. Those things are awesome. Yeah. Yep. You got it sitting. Yeah. It's all family. Uh -oh. Yeah, absolutely right. Um, you know, you, you can't say enough about these people. And, you know, Dirk, that's why, you know, when we come up, uh, I, I'm always trying to keep these guys in the people's minds. Because, you know, I'm sure your kids know about all these people that I that I mentioned at the beginning of the show. But, you know, the, the thing is, you know, once your past starts dying out, uh, it's just uh, it just kind of hurts the sport. Because these people worked hard and spent a lot, a lot of money back in the day to uh, to make paintball better. And, of course, they made money at it, but they spent a lot of money and a lot of time to do it. You know, Bud Orr used to sponsor you guys back in the day. And he treated you guys terrific. You can't ever say he didn't. Absolutely. He sponsored us. Bud Orr sponsored us when he came out with the uh, the commando back in right? the eighties. Yeah, the pump gun. Bud, one of Bud's pump guns, the commando. You know, 
Jerry bought like a bunch of them as field rentals and, and Bud sponsored us with them. So we were like one of the only teams shooting commandos in like 86 or something like Look at that. that. There you go right there. That's before that Oro Cotter's sniper. Right? Right? No it was Nelson. a Nelson. Yeah, Nelson-based gun. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 But Oro yeah, Commando. Yeah. yeah, Bailey's got them all, believe me. That was Rennick Miller's. Was it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, wow, first time we played Aftershock was in, uh, I can't remember where I was. I, I think it was Chicago, but I'm not sure. But the first time we played Aftershock after the teams merged, I was still shooting the um, Bushmaster. Yeah. Had the Quicksilver on the back and yada, yep. yada, yada. So I love it. Yeah, we were all shooting Aaron Carters. We were shooting either Termites or Carter Comps back then. Yeah, you know, Carter Comps were a good marker, man. You know, great, Carter made great. some good stuff, but you know, you can mention awesome the name. Stuff. Yeah, you can mention the right. name Carter now, and people look at you like, "Who the hell is that?" You know. And well, Aaron, well, people in the know know all about yeah, Aaron. Say, Aaron. You know, like, no, but not the young guys. I'm telling you. Yeah. No, the young guys. I, I mean, I play some vintage. You know, we have yeah, here. Man. We're lucky because we have we have vintage games here where you have to play with old stuff, and I yeah. show up with my Carter comp and a quick change on it. You know, the oh, bad thing cool. is, the bad thing is, is you got to hold the guns up because the balls just roll oh, out of them. Oh, wow. you know? <laughs> and yeah. I won't, I won't send them out and have the barrels cut off so I can put uh and threaded and put a, you know, a, a free kit insert. in it or anything. So, Ooh. yeah. And insert. Yep. No. Yep. So, well, I got to tell no you power. guys. Yep. Yeah. Well, I, I've gone my hour. Um, I try not to run it too much longer. Uh, you know, I, I can't say enough about everybody that was on here tonight. You know, Dirk, you've been terrific. Your stories have been thank great. You. Um, I, I can't, can't thank you enough for coming on. I honestly can't. Uh, and Mark and Mark Jr. Oh, my wife, you want to see who's on real quick? Just take a look. See, yeah. Hello, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she, she won't come on. She, uh, yeah, yeah. That's how she is. She, she's got her earpiece. Uh, Oh, hello. How are you? I got That's three gongs there. Look at that. <laughs> oh, boy. Wow. Uh, yeah, you know, you know, Mark Jessica's always talking about your family. She always goes, <laughs> Mark has the most beautiful family. And I go, is that right? And this is before I got to see all you guys, you know. So Jessica's been a, a gong fan for a long, long time. <laughs> Bless her heart. It's, it, it's, thank God to my wife. Yeah, <laughs> but, yeah. We know how your kids got the good looks. <laughs> Hell, that ain't front page news. <laughs> yeah. yeah, for a minute there, it was the Gong Show. Yeah, yeah. there you go. <laughs> oh. Hey, James got a barrel. But hello, dump, dump. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys know James kind of. Uh, Jamie, what up, Jamie? Cool. Right on. He said hello, guys. So, Who doesn't know Jamie? Jamie? Another great <laughs> OT Iron Man right there. Yeah. You know, a Absolutely. lot of these guys, you know what's funny too is, you know, I used to go to the tournaments and I, I just knew a million people, but most of it was just by sight. I couldn't remember, you know, half of their names because I just met so many people at such a fast period of time when I'd go to these things, you know? Yeah, so, right. It's a lot easier now though, Fred, because everybody's got their name on their back. Yeah, it's a lot easier. <laughs> yeah. Back in the day, you didn't know who anybody was. Uh, uh, you didn't have a name and number. <laughs> you know, but you know what bothers me when I try to remember my name? I'm running in circles now. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, hey, Kevin, Wait, so one of the things that the OT Ironman do, we, we try to keep things classic the way paintball uh, traditions were. So we don't, we, we try to keep it as fresh as possible and not have too much of the, the new stuff in. I mean, I'm surprised we have names on it, but we keep it pretty traditional back to yeah, where I, I love this. You know, I, I don't know how much you can see it, but Mark made this shirt for me. He's got the cops <laughs> pursued on the sleeves. Yeah. On the back. Yeah, that's a that's Heck a throwback. Yeah. Heck yeah. After, I, a, I was I was just stunned when he brought it to me. It was so damn cool. I just absolutely loved it. You're the man, Mark. Yeah. Anytime, Freddie. Yeah. You're the man. Yeah. I, I don't Thank care you. what Kevin says. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, All right, guys. Go ahead, Bill. 
there was uh, someone that's been in the sport a long time too is uh alan paintball products he's still oh there. definitely absolutely it's, uh, he, he was my first uh sponsor for i used to do toys for tots uh toy drives back in the 80s and he was my very first sponsor that actually Bernie? helped us out really and, and, yeah and uh I, I needed some hoppers and some pods and stuff the other day and i i called him up and yeah he hooked me up and yeah, he's he's another one. He's going strong. So, oh, very yeah. good. Know. Yeah, because you know we try to promote you know all the fields and all the stores that we can because you know that's what keeps the sport going, guys. You know, I mean, if people aren't buying stuff or going out and playing, phew, we yeah. got nothing. You know, we got nothing. Yeah. So, and Jimmy James just <laughs> texted in. He goes, "You know me, Fred. I played on the Palm Beach Predators. Oh. I remember that absolutely. <laughs> that goes back the- quite a ways." Wow. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I can't thank you guys enough. I'm going to have to go one at a time here. Uh, Mark and Mark Jr., thank you so much for, for coming on tonight. And and thanks a lot for bringing Jr. on. You know, we're going to all work together. I want to make Jr. the a big star here in the future. So I'm going to work real hard at pushing that little guy. And uh, I, I know Mark will, too. Thank you, Fred. It was a pleasure being on. And thank you for inviting us. You betcha. And uh, say good night to all those guys. Yep. See you guys. Take care, Mark. Yep. You too. Thanks, yep. Kevin. Bye-bye. See you later. <laughs> See you, Mark. All right. <sighs> Who's next? <William>. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go with Dirk. Dirk was the next one on. Yep. Oh. Dirk, you did yes, a great sir. job tonight. Hell of a job. Thank you very much. I mean, Invite um, me on again. Oh, I want you on anytime you want on, buddy. All you got to do is make the call and you're on. It, it was you terrific. You know, um, like I say, you know, people like listening to stories. You know, that's what Kevin, you know, Kevin, he's kind of like the book of knowledge for paintball. You know, I, I I don't know if he just stays up at night and practices all this crap, but he just knows his stuff. And yeah. he's so entertaining to have on because, he, like I say, he's like the book of facts. Him and, and Bailey both, you know. <laughs> And Bailey's the the book of markers, man. Look behind it. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 it is. You know, Dirk, the first time I had William on, I thought he was in a store talking. <laughs> that's his like place. It does. Oh, that's nothing. That's nothing. That's Look at this. Look at this. That's just a, Check that out. That's just. Wow. Kind of, Look at that. Kind of a look. There's a. That, that's can something. You, huh? Can you see that? That's a that's a, that's a dart gun that he made. That oh my made. gosh, I yeah. see it. The one with the long barrel. Yeah, yeah. There's two of them there. Wow. Yeah. But uh. Oh wow! I had one like that, <laughs> but I had to blow through it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you can blow that's through funny. these. There's a. Uh, it's kind of funny. <laughs> Not at all, man. <laughs> all right, uh, hey Dirk. Thanks a million for being on you. tonight, buddy. Um, thank I you. definitely thank want you to invite. I appreciate All right. it very much. We'll talk to you guys soon. All right. You take it easy. Yep. Take care, Dirk. Dirk. That's Mr. Dirk Gadbury, everybody. Um, <laughs> plays with the OG Ironman and has played with the Ironman forever and started with Constant Pursuit, um, my old team. So I can't ever thank him enough for that. Now I end up with the two guys that are trouble, <laughs> but I love them. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it Kevin, was quiet tonight. It was because Kevin got on late. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Kevin, I sent you the link, but I don't know how I screwed it up, buddy. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. Well, Bill took care of it. Straightened it out. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Art Gonzalez just jumped on, too, and Art says hi. Hey, so, Art. Hey, Art. Yeah, Art's a good guy. I wanted to put Art on tonight. I told him I'd put him on. but uh, Oh, that would have been great. I would have loved to have seen him. I haven't seen him in 30 years. I know. Well, I'll drag him out one of these. Yeah, yeah, I'll drag him out one of these times. He texts yeah, me all the time. I'd love, I'd love to say hello to him. You know? Yeah, well, that's what we're going to do. Art, I know you're listening because you're watching and texting here. We want to have you on some night, buddy. Now, you just got a special request from Kevin Donaldson. <laughs> now, you cannot turn that down. You can tell me to take a hike, no problem. But you can never turn down to Kevin. So, no. Hey, Uncle <laughs> Kevin, he says. I'll see him. <laughs> Boy, that Uncle Kevin's really stuck with you, huh? <laughs> yeah, thanks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, normally I'd feel bad about it, but I really don't. So 
<laughs> All right, oh, Uncle Kev. Hey, buddy. Uh, sorry again for the thing. And definitely love having you on. And love having you on every week. Thanks, so, Freddie. Yeah, I'm going to get it worked out. So uh, I'll probably start your feet an hour early next time. <laughs> right. Hey, Freddie, it's the first time. It's the first. Well, actually, the second time we've had trouble. So, you know, it it's is, okay. But, you know, you, Bill, you, Bill, you, Bill bailed you out. He did. Oh, oh yeah. He did oh, last had, time, Bill this time. So I we're had good. big trouble last week. So yeah. My, yeah, you did. And I thought it was my feed, and you said it was yours. Uh, no, I'm pretty sure it's our Wi Fi. Uh, oh, just, good. That makes like, you feel better. Yeah. yeah. And I think yeah. it was just a fluke when DJ sent me the link, you know, and then it just came on. But I'd tried six, you know, five or six times at least to get on. Yeah. You know, so I think it was just time that said, okay, let's let them on. <laughs> <laughs> Danny said uh, to have a great night. What a great yeah. show. Danny, we love you, buddy. You stay safe. You hear? Yeah. Immortal yeah. air. Immortal air. Right there. Immortal air. That's yeah. right. All right, Kevin. You yeah. have a good All right, night, guys. Buddy. And, See you um, next week. I'll yep. be talking to you. Yep. See you, Kevin. Take care, everybody. Bye, Take brother. care, Bill. Yep. See you. <laughs> All right, Bill. Um, well. Really, everybody, that was Mr. Kevin Donaldson. Um, the the master blaster from the pastor. He is uh, nothing short of a terrific guy. And that's a new one. I think I might coin that. The master blaster from the pastor. Yeah. Yeah, not bad. I'm a poet and don't know it. Yeah. Oh, God. Pastor. <laughs> Yeah, I, you he's know, like I'm not in the pasture. I'm still out here. <laughs> Kevin is such a good guy. Hey, <laughs> Bill, you're terrific, buddy. Uh, yeah. I know. I know you didn't get to jump in a lot tonight. Oh you, no! Yeah, if, just, if, if just, I don't have you on, I'm nervous. No, just hearing it all. <laughs> you know, just hearing everybody talking and you know, in the stories is awesome. It, it and, is. Uh, you know, me. I, I was talking with Tim yesterday, Tim Schloss, and and really everybody that that you guys have on it's a, uh, they're all really the ones that started the industry for paintball. And, and people don't realize that, you know, if it wasn't for most of the guys on the muffs, you know, there wouldn't be yeah. paintball, you know, yeah. no, there, there are a lot of them. That's for sure. And yeah. Art Gonzalez, I don't know if you know, Art Gonzalez. No, I know he, the name. Yeah. yeah. He played, he played on my team uh, years ago. Art, uh, he was a hell of a player. Um, one of the best guys you'd ever want to, want to meet he's just a hell of a guy anyhow he just said mr bill bailey <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right so I, i'll throw That's the mr like... in there just for you art <laughs> no uncle bill i got an uncle kevin yeah. that, that'll work no uh, that was that was the neat thing about uh, when we started old school paintball guns uh facebook page uh you know i just sat up for that first night and was you know, invited everybody that I, that I remembered or, or that I like talking to. And it was just all the old school players and yeah. it, it, that site grew, you know, huge. So it's, it's been a real fun site, well, it's you over, know, it's over 10,000 right now. Oh yeah. 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 And because, you know, as soon as I signed on to join, um, first of all, everybody came on and they were so gracious. I couldn't even yeah. believe it, but I'm yeah. number 9,000. 998. <laughs> so that's what I'm known as in, yep. in that group now. Mr. Mr. 9,998. 9, <laughs> that's right. Baby. I'll get yep. a shirt someday, man. Old school paintball number. Yep. Well, I have, I've got patches. I can send you some patches. Oh, do you really? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I got a whole bunch of stuff I'm sitting here that I want to send you, too, so you can have <laughs> your museum. Yeah, I I'll have to that. send you I've got the original. I've got the original blue, and I think I still got some uh, olive drab uh, patches. Oh, really? So, uh, yeah, I'm trying to think. Uh, I don't. I think I got some here. I brought them with me to California. What's your shirt? Paintball to go? Yeah, it's just a paintball to go shirt. Yeah, but yeah, this is a. These are some of the patches that we had made originally. Oh, very you know, for, for the group. You know, that's a. Uh, Bud actually helped me with that design. We we talked about it, and I sent Bud the very first ones, the very first ones that came off the machine. So, very cool. well, but, uh, I'll send, uh, yeah, I'll send you the, I'll send you a blue one and an olive drab. Yeah, excellent, right on, buddy. Yep, that's cool. All right, Bill. Well, I'm gonna have to go have dinner here pretty quick. All righty. 
Yeah, man, well, uh, I can't thank you enough for for hooking Kevin up tonight because I've oh, felt yeah, that's I no problem. Uh, I didn't know if I could do that or not. I just I'm always afraid to leave. I don't know if I'll be able to get back on. You know? Well, I, I, yeah, and I was afraid that to try to get him on, I'd wipe everybody. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't do it. The other guys we could try. We're expendable, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so, bro. You all have right. a evening, buddy. All yep. right. Yep. We'll see you. In. Good night, everybody. Thanks again. For everybody. Thanks yep, again. Yep, yep. Thank you. We'll see you. All right, everybody. That was Mr. William Bailey. Uh, Bill, I mean, he has the paintball museum. And I, you just seen when he panned across his, the walls of his place there, he has tons and tons of stuff. Yeah, it's absolutely cool, aren't you? Yep. Very cool. So, you know, you want to slide over? No. <laughs> so real cool, everybody. Uh, first of all, I want to thank you all so very, very much. Save me a plate, Fred. I'm coming over. <laughs> you know, Art, you got to come on the show some night, buddy. Now, I know you're watching right now, so you got to come on. You got to let me send you a link because we want to have you on. Okay? So you think about it and you get that worked out. And everybody else that watched us tonight, um, Jimmy James, Stephen Blair, Dan, Everybody to watch this, thank you so very much for watching our show. Um, I hope you enjoyed our guests tonight. I, I couldn't ask for a better group. Mark Gong, Mark Gong Jr., Kevin Donaldson, Dirk Gadbury, William Bailey. I mean, just uh, absolutely terrific. Uh, and, and Mark Gong Jr. You know, I mentioned Mark Gong, but I'm going to start saying Mark Gong Jr. They are two different people. And, uh, oh, and Art just texted and says he will be on. You bet you are. We're going to drag you on here, buddy. Everybody wants to see and talk to you. So we got to get it set up and have Art on one night. Now, next Tuesday night, I'm not going to be on because next Tuesday night, obviously, is the election. So I am not going to be on next Tuesday, but I will be on the following Tuesday again. Um, so everybody, uh, next week, uh, maybe I'll chime in for just a few minutes. But that's all it'll be. And uh, because I, I, I want to sit and watch the election myself. So one more time, I want to uh, give a shout out. Gino, Belkin.com. You want to get on to Belkin.com and sign up. They're having a $500 giveaway. So uh, if your name is chosen, you're going to get $500 worth of stuff from, uh, from Belkin. You know, they have all the paintball sports stuff, uh, airsoft stuff. They just have everything. So you want to get on there and give them a chance. Uh, I absolutely love Immortal Air, Mr. Dan and Mr. John Kobe. Um, not just two terrific people, but a absolutely terrific product. So again, this is another Tuesday night. Um, I'm your host, Fred Schultz. One more time, I want to thank you guys so much for watching me tonight. And remember, next Tuesday, I'll come on for just a little bit, but it won't be our regular hour show. But the following week, please, please tune back in and watch us. Uh, we'll have some great guests and some great paintball talk. So for myself and everybody I had on the show tonight and everybody out there, please play safe, play fair, but go play paintball, huh? All right.